Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects tutorial. Guys, this one I'm going to show you how to relight or brighten dark footage in After Effects in like 90 seconds, guys. You could, if anybody that took out some shots and you were out filming and it was too dark out at night and you can't use the footage, don't get rid of it. Try this, work with me. Okay, so the first step here is I've got some footage and it's just a video of a cabin at night. This is just stock footage. I'm going to drag and drop it down into the timeline. There you go, you see what we got. It's not bad, but it's kind of dark, right? And again, I just want to show you the technique. So I hit spacebar, and here you go. You see what we got, right? We just got some dark footage of a cabin. Not bad, but let's say we want to brighten it up. Now this could be any kind of footage. If you guys did like pitch black stuff, there's still a good chance we'll be able to get some of those details out. Anyways, the next step, and this is the critical step, is you see that little cube here? It's the 3D layer cube. Make sure that this is clicked on. It's very, very important because now we're going to create a light. We're going to go to layer, we're going to go to new, and then we're going to go to light. And by default, it's set to parallel, and this is not what you want. And it, at default, it's set to 100% parallel. These are not the, the settings that we want. we want. I want you to go to ambient. And then for purpose of demonstration, I'm going to jump the intensity way up to like 250%, let's say. And now watch what happens. Boom. The entire scene is relit. It is bright. It is like sparkling bright. I'll hit spacebar. And you know what? Because we're using a light, we turned the light off. We started off with this kind of grayish, darkish color and... We've got it completely relit, guys. We did that in 90 seconds in After Effects. This is really, really good if you have like a couple pieces of footage that you need to just, you know, make brighter, but you don't want to apply it to the whole thing in Premiere Pro. Um, I also do have a video that shows you how to do this in Premiere Pro. But that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I got a ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.